Hey folks, Quillian here, and oh, welcome to another episode of Let's Play U4 Imperial Italy! And we are, in fact, the Emperor. We are not yet Italy, we're still Ferrara. Um, and we are just simply missing a couple of things to become Italy proper. One, we need administrative level 10, and two, we need to own the Papal States. Now, other than um, conquering Roma and becoming and, and getting admin level tech 10, I am going to stop all my personal conquest at this point. That is my goal. And my goal instead is going to be to try to improve the situation of the Holy Roman Empire. We are currently at negative imperial authority. Uh, 10 of that, point 10 of that is, or point 1, is from having heretic princes, people who become Protestant. And also, point 0 0.07 of it is because 15 provinces that belong to the HRE aren't in the HRE. And we're not getting a lot of positive points because we don't have as many princes as we might like to. So, we are going to focus on those things. Now, currently, our manpower is pretty low and needs to recharge, certainly. How is our force limit? Force limit, we can actually go up quite a bit because we are the emperor, so we get a bonus for our force limit, so that's good. Um, oh, the other thing to note is that we are now on patch 1.13, the beta for patch 1.13. So a few things will have changed. Some things may break because it is the beta, but hopefully we'll be okay. I'm going to go ahead and get the game flowing at speed 1 here for a sec because there we go. I was going to say a lot of these things need to tick. So a lot of the uh, rivalries have changed. We actually only have two enemies, <clears throat> Naples and Aragon, which is interesting. And we can take a look at our CBs currently. We still have our conquest on Milan because we have a um, claim on Parma, although I will probably not go after Parma. Um, and I have a conquest CB on the Papal States, which I do want to take advantage of at some point. Um, they are in a coalition against me. What does the coalition look like right now? Yeah, so we won't want that to burn away a little bit. <clears throat> but more importantly, we've got a few others. Um, we've got the Imperial Band CB on Denmark, Poland, Burgundy, Milan, and Savoy. Those are countries that are not a part of the HRE, but have provinces that are in the HRE. So I can use that as a CB. Ooh, there we go. I can no longer rival Milan, which presumably means I've eclipsed them. Yes, it's not worth very many points, apparently. <clears throat> um, <sighs> Aragon, you hate me? Really? Yeah, we're rivaled. Honestly, Austria makes the most sense as a rival right now for a few different reasons. Um, they can't vote for us. Um, and they are sort of in my way. That being said, we're actually allies right now. So I don't think I actually want to rival them. Um, oh, Savoy. Savoy makes a lot of sense. It will break our alliance. Um, but they are not an HRE member and they have HRE land, so we're going to want to do something about that at some point, and they're relatively nearby. In fact, I border them, which is good, plus I have the Imperial Band CB against them. So we're going to have to go ahead and confirm arrival over there. Costly trade embargo. So we are embargoing Milan. We don't currently have a diplomat. Uh, there we go. This one here is about to finish. Well, here, I'll cancel it early. It's fine. And then as soon as he gets home, we'll revoke this embargo, and in fact, we'll embargo Savoy. There we are. Are we still allied with Savoy? That's interesting. Give me some trade power. Hungary left the coalition. That's very good. And then we'll embargo them. Because we can. God, I'm such a jerk. Most likely, they will reevaluate the situation. And... Well, they don't actually hate me. I hate them. They don't hate me because they haven't rivaled me back. Curious... Okay, more people leaving the coalition. That's really good. That opens up some possibilities of going after the Pope. Um, the sooner we get him, the better, because we are going to um, have to wait 10 years before we can annex him. Also, once he's my vassal, we don't have to worry about as many other negative things like aggressive expansion, because they're going to be pulled into war with me. There we go. Okay, coalition's cleared up. We have lost Savoy as an ally. Cannot ally with a rival. There we go. It's just taken a while. We still have royal ties, which will break eventually. Would have been nice to declare war over here while uh, while we could. Uh, Genoa, Poland, Bosnia, Austria, and France will come in my side. You know what? I think we have to do this. Obviously, it will restart the, um, the coalition, but I am willing to do that. We're going to do this. We're not going to co-belligerize anyone. Um, interesting. Genoa, what kind of other allies do you have? Papal States and Savoy. So that would bring in Savoy, which I don't think I want to do. So we're not going to co-belligerize you. We are going to pull in... Um, um, Austria and France. We are at full maintenance still. We have our forts down here, which is good. We actually maybe don't need the one in Milan. We're not about to get a rebellion pop, are we? Sorry, it's been a few days since the last episode. No, I think we're okay. 
Okay, this seems like a good time. Declare war. And let's go straight for the war goal. What's our leader? One, two, two. Well, he's not the worst. Um, we don't need manpower, so let's go ahead and do a consolidate round. I'm a little cannon heavy with this comp um, composition, but that's all right. So yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, vassalize the, the Pope, take care of that, and then we'll go back to focusing um, on strengthening the uh, the Empire. And actually, if I start to get any Imperial Authority, that will add a plus in my column in terms of remaining as the Emperor. The more Imperial Authority you have, the more of a buff you get for your relationships there. And no one in the HRE should mind too much with me taking Rome, which is good. Let's take a look at the diplomatic map mode to get an idea of who's come in. Yeah, that is um, that is pretty manageable. I'm not too worried about that. France will probably take care of, um, of Genoa, and Austria might uh, fend off Poland. We'll see how it goes. All right, let's go ahead and do speed three. Oop. Cross an auto save boundary. There we go. And you're going to go to Siena, so we'll probably actually just encounter you there. Instead, it's farmland, which is fine. We might get a river crossing. Depends. Nope. Did they not have any maneuver? Ah, they only had one point of maneuver. Okay, and I had two. So we should be able to just crush them and then siege Rome. Good. Now, the 1.13 patch has fixed the um, the cannon siege rule. So we will need, once again, more than five cannons to get the full bonus. In fact, we need ten. And we have twelve, so that's not too bad. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, sorry, group up, make a new army. I'm going to try to minimize how many people are getting attrition over here. We'll bring half that and then half that and then bring it over there. So we still have a decent sized army there, but not too many. Salzburg left the coalition. Okay, well, I think that was the last one. Nope, Genoa is still in the coalition. Well, I'm going to have a truce with a lot of people who might join. Other people might join the coalition while I'm gone. France, no, no, France, don't go there. Don't attach to that army. Do not go there. That would not be helpful. It's a lot of attrition. Okay, he's leaving. Good. Thank you. Do I have another leader kicking around? No one with siege, though. And we can still get a free military leader. That's okay. We'll just wait. We don't need to make anyone new at this point. Okay, recall that. Hungary declared war on Naples. Oh, they want to retake these bits over here. I'm okay with that, actually. That'll weaken Naples a little bit and make it easier for me to take the rest of the boot over here. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and spend a little bit of effort sucking up to random princes. And Liège. You know, just good investment in the future. Minimizes coalition possibilities. Gives me more alliance partners for the future. Um, Savoy. Oh, you joined in that war, right. Right. Well, no, I was going to say right, but are you allied? Oh, you are allied with Naples. Okay. So Savoy was allied to both Naples and Genoa. So we were going to butt heads no matter what was going to happen there. We got a wall breach already. Can I just, um, do I want to just assault? Yeah, let's go ahead and bring the rest of this army here. Here, attach to this army. Bring everyone over there. No? Oh, okay. Thought, I was hoping they'd follow me. That's okay. Once the troops arrive, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll go and assault. We've got massive numbers advantage. Um, we should be okay. I mean, it's still going to be painful, but it's going to speed things up pretty dramatically. Especially since we, we don't have a sea blockade going on. Speaking of which, oh right, I don't have a navy. I forgot that got uh, that got blowed up last time, right? <clears throat> it's not just that I don't have the navy tab. Naval combat is up. Navies, yeah. No, I lost my navy. Oh right, and I was going to wait until next... Um... Oh no, I have the Caravelle tech. Never mind. I think I'm getting confused between games. Justified demands has expired. Castile is rivaling me. That's a little unpleasant. But I am a powerhouse, so I can't blame them too, too much. So we've got the war goal, so now it's just a question of um, racking up more percentage, which is going to be hard with Poland in on this. <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and just do a quick little siege of Genoa. There's no fort here, right? That's right. So all we need is like a thousand worth of dudes to go and stand in Montfada for a little while. Meanwhile, I guess the rest of us will basically move up to Poland. And start sieging out their stuff. Okay. We could also just wait five years. Because we occupy the war leader. In, in five years, we will have a 100% war score. That's a long time to wait. <clears throat> um, I'm going to go ahead and mothball that fort. I'm going to leave the one that's next to Naples there. Do they have a CB against me? Oh, they do. Yeah. Okay. 
but none of the rest of the forts should be a concern. In fact, I should be able to take this one down here as well, save a few bucks. Although Savoy uh, at some point will be an opponent, but for now I still have some strong alliances. Austria and France really, really quite strong. Okay, we control that province. Lovely. Let's go and send you up over here. We can get a tech. Um, yeah, actually, admin tech is fine because I'm not going to be annexing this until I'm ready to become Italy. I mean, I guess I'm not that far from Italy. I, I will get some, some negative pressure, but not that much. Tell you what, let's go and set a focus on admin. And try to get the next admin tech a little bit faster. And maybe we will just annex them outright. We're going to see how it goes. Um, let me split you in half. No, I can't go there, but I can go here. And you, why don't you grab a leader, actually, and then join that stack there. Actually, split. Go there, and then another leader. That way I can have more leaders in enemy territory. I'm going to grab this group and bring them down a tiny bit. Wow, I think like literally one person, you don't even need a full 1k, can siege out um, places without forts. Which is pretty crazy sauce. Hmm, noble rebels, okay. Well. Uh, treasury or prestige? I will definitely take prestige. I have lots of money and prestige will help me uh, keep the votes. Plus, uh, it gives you less aggressive expansion impact as well, which is really valuable. Mm -hmm. So what's the prediction here? So six years to have enough admin points. Now, if I'm making a lot of money, and I am, I suppose I could go for a higher level guy here. Do I have inflation? Technically some. I don't think I'm going to go for the plus three guy. That's a lot of money. Yeah, I'm going to go up to the level two admin guy. Oh, there we go. Can I get out of there in time? No. Do I want to take that fight? Well, no, I'm not going to defend him. But let me go ahead and just group up more guys in Croco over here. And they can de-siege that. That's fine. All right. So, Rome is a pretty valuable province. It's got 43 development. Um, so just taking Rome by itself... Actually, it's only 27. Interesting. Now, they're not going to be willing to do it because it will cause their end... Right, so that's a minus 73 over there. So we need quite a lot of war score, and the length of war and everything has to be beaten down. Um, their enthusiasm is low, though, so that much is good. Um, yeah, so they've reoccupied that. I don't think I'm going to jump on them. What's their military tech? 11, and mine's 11 as well, so new. Um, and no spare manpower. They're going to do that. Well, actually, that got de siege automatically because it just had been that long. So that's okay. We'll go ahead and finish the actual Siege of Croco over here. Is Croco still their capital, or did they get moved? I can't see. The oh, there it is. There's the crown. So yes, I'm going to take their capital right away, which is good. That should be worth a lot of war exhaustion. And um, I might be able to start separate piecing out Poland not too long after that. The white piece is probably fine. I don't think I have to break any of their alliances or anything like that. Um, well, the Papal States won't matter. Aragon is a bit annoying because we do hate each other. So that might be one to break if I can do anything. So we'll we'll visit that. Um, how many people do you have defending? Yeah, we don't have... Okay, if France jumps in here, then we'll go ahead and assault. Although we're getting close to the end of this siege, so it's not as bad. Assaulting costs you some troops, but so does, you know, just sieging stuff, right? Because sieging things um, gives you attrition. Well, really? I guess because I'm leaving with cannons, right? Just take some of the extra cavalry and send them over here. <laughs> and then we'll be able to siege, say, these two provinces. And these won't get, become unsieged because we'll have an adjacent fort under our control. That's a little bit of an annoying army. Austria, you could go and take care of that anytime you want. Um, can I get Genoa out of here? And do I want to? Interesting, they're unwilling. Really? Length of war, I guess. Yeah, the enthusiasm's still high. They're fully they're fully besieged, aren't they? They don't have any other Nope. Okay, that's that. Well that doesn't really help. Here. That will be fine. Come on. Tick 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 tick. Will it happen this time? Nope. 
right, this shouldn't... Oh, it's actually hurting our percentage quite a bit more than I thought. Still, that's all right. I'm going to get started on that. And let me move. I really... I can't move there? I guess not. No, because of this fort here. Uh, the Hansa? Okay, we'll recall that diplomat. I didn't... I closed my outliner at some point. Move you there. Oh, we have a lot of idle people. So, next is Holland. Just improve some relations. And then is me. Wurzburg. We'll improve relations there. And yeah, I'm just going to try to keep a diplomat available here for peace deals and whatnot. Right, that's that one. Oh, that is a very large army. Let me move back over there, actually. I didn't realize Poland was able to muster quite this many troops. Who's this fighting? Bohemia. Is Poland more than one war? That would be very handy. And they are. They're actually in three separate wars. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, they should get tuckered out pretty soon. They should start to get some real uh, war exhaustion. Where are they? 3.5 ain't bad. Ah, I really don't want to give up the siege. Well, okay. So that's frozen already. I'll redirect you here. I'll do a merge, and I'll detach as many troops as possible and go. So, Because I don't want to abandon the siege. It's too far progressed. But we obviously have to reinforce here. Oh, it looks like we're going to win handily. How come? They have a 2-1. 4-3 French guy. Yeah, France. Sometimes doesn't do very well. Uh, is doing pretty okay this time, although there's an all-in-one Provence. Um, and Burgundy, of course, is still relatively strong. Um, Cologne, strive for tolerant society. Yeah, Cologne's got to be torn up a little bit. They're one of the reasons there's not as many princes. Um, I probably can't chase because of the forts. Oh, whoa. How many dudes did I just select? Oh, no, they're just pathing in a really weird way. Right. And these guys, of course, have not been destroyed, so we'll have to be a little careful. There we are. Good. So tell you what, I'll just do that. Instead of moving to the south, I'll just keep my guys relatively close together over here so we can reinforce each other if something breaks out. Poland, I, I'm totally willing to, like, separate piece you out, but your enthusiasm is way too high for that. Like, I, I would take a white piece right now. Oh, ideally, it'd be nice to break their, their treaty with Aragon. Um, you probably don't have full cannon. So, let me just move the cannons into here for the maximum siege bonus. And I'm just going to leave these troops over here to minimize some of the attrition level. Plus, to prevent this province from recapitulating back to Poland. Uh, our marriage with Brandenburg has ended. Let's get that back. That's Bohemia. That's Saxony. That's Brandenburg. Um, you are Protestant, which sucks, but we'll go ahead and keep that going on. Millennius Separatist. That's a bit annoying. We actually might get a... a um, uh, a helper coming over there. We still have a fort. Like, we might get an ally in the war. Help us clear that out. It could happen. We'll see. My army has really shrunk down. Attrition is a brutal thing. And France is gone, right? France is effed off? Oh, no, they're up here. Okay, good. I was going to say, if France is gone, I'm just going to have to leave. Because I can't fight that, that Polish army. It's just way, way too big. Um... Yeah, it sucks to burn the siege, but we have to jump in there. We can wait until they've got the lock icon, which I'm surprised they don't already have it. They're going to get there in four days. We'll wait one more day. Oh, oh, I should have started right away. I didn't realize the path would be so screwed up. Okay. You know what? Sorry. I can't get there, France. You're in a bad place. I should have not left the siege. I mean, luckily, it didn't reset completely. Holy crap. Is it possible you're still going to win? What kind of ideas do you have? Okay, Brandenburg has annexed someone. Yeah, we might have to deal with something like that. Well, France is going to lose. That's a shame. But, oh, man, if I had made that move, I might have been able to get there in time. Might. Uh, if anyone wants to um, attach to one of these armies, that'd be fine. 
you know, before Poland responds and starts to be able to attack again. Oh, and I still have my rebel problem. Maybe I should just leave. I don't want separatism to come back. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. Screw it. We've taken a fort. That's still going to, you know, be something. It's in their capital. Their war exhaustion is going up. Oh, mine is pretty high. I'm going to bring that down a bit. And a bit more. Damn. Also, I have a lot of money. Is there any buildings I want to be building right now? In particular, more army buildings. Uh, those wouldn't give me much right now because of level of development and or autonomy. Yeah. So it's a combination of the two. So um, it might still be worth building. You know what? I will go ahead and build them. It's not giving me that much right now, but eventually they will give me more. Council of Madeira, the Pope, the Catholic faith, absentee bishops, oh, counter-reformation stuff. Savoy fabricating claims, all right. Truce of Burgundy has ended. That's good, because I would like to force them to give up their HRE holdings. Again, I'm gonna, I'm hoping that I can uh, improve things over here at some point. We want, I want imperial power. Yeah, we're going to group up here. This is farmland. We won't get a river crossing, which will be good. So we should be okay. And a national decision. Embrace the counter-reformation. Right. If we do that, the Pope will love me. We'll get more missionaries. Technology cost goes up. We're better against heretics, which will actually be very handy. Technology cost and idea cost. The thing is, I actually do have one in Urbino, and it might become more of an issue down the road. Um, I'll hold off for the moment just because I want to save the 5% on the admin, if I can. And yeah, I think, well, the Pope's going to be gone, actually, so his opinion doesn't really matter, per se. He might repop somewhere, and that'll be okay, but Rome is going to be mine. As soon, again, I just need tech 10. I also need to core Rome, so that's a thing. All right. Okay, they're at zero, but they will not actually complete their siege, which is nice. Let's group this up. I will do a consolidate. And we're a little cannon heavy, but um, I didn't want anyone squishy. Um, there shouldn't be a river crossing, so it's a total of... Yeah, this is fine. Of course, our king might die in battle. That would be bad. Mm -hmm. Diplomat. So we do have a spare one. Uh, send it to Switzerland. Sure. They don't like me particularly, but they might a little bit more later. Am I going to get my ass kicked by rebels? Is that possible? I mean, I realize that, yeah, my front line is being utterly obliterated here. We don't have enough of a front line anymore. I should have uh, maybe murked up a bit. Well, that sucks. So let me go and invest in a bunch of these. It'd be nice if there was a hire all infantry button. There's a, like, hire all mercenaries button but not a bulk infantry one. So we're going to do that. I should have done that sooner, since I had no manpower and lots of money. Hmm. Bosnia. With your low enthusiasm. What is our current war score? 92% with you? Really? Austrian vessel. Vassal. I don't want that. Give me money. Um, your alliance with the Papal States doesn't matter. Give up your claims in Ferrara. Give me a bit more cash. I don't want that because that'll be a relationship. Revoke some cores and things that don't matter. Transfer things to Austria. Nope, that's good. Okay. Do, do, do. That's that. You're home from Bosnia. Good. Anyone else want out? Moldova, I can't set for PCO. Poland? Aha. Yeah, probably could have done that sooner. Break your treaty with Aragon. Nice. I don't care about the other one so much. Um. Oh, yeah, we're not going to transfer that over. It's interesting this possibility. Okay, you won't do reparations. And actually, you won't do any money. Oh, you'll do a little bit of money. So yes, break your treaties with Aragon. Give me some money. We'll get you out of the war. Boom. We're now at 84%. Genoa is still pretty high. We might not need to separate piece them out. Actually, they're fully occupied. Like, 
Do they occupy any of my stuff? How come we don't have a 100% war score? Does Rome control something else that I don't know about? Genoa? None of my stuff is sieged. Because I got rebels? Let's see what we can negotiate. I bet you I can fully annex the, the Pope. The Pape. Yes, full annexation. I may wait a little bit longer, though. Um, although I am getting, you know, more exhaustion. That is true. I'm going to cancel... Uh, oh, that's that's buildings. Yeah, that's okay. Um, because I probably don't have the points to, to core them. At 43? Can you predict what the coring cost will be? I mean, you can math that out, obviously, right? Is it... They've changed it so many times recently. Is it 10 admin now per development point? Because it was more, then they brought it down, and then it's different for diplo annexing. Poop, I should have these numbers memorized by now. Uh, we're basically at the end of the episode, regardless. Um, I don't think I need the next quantity idea. What's my... We're still ahead of time in military, but the next one's really important. Tactics and new infantry and supply limit. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna wait on that, that's for sure. Um Let me Ooh, Switzerland loves me. Good. We'll do that. Uh, let me uh, consolidate my front line there as well. Um I bet yeah, I won't have the points for this. So I will not piece them out yet because I don't want an uncored province in my territory at this time. So I will just, um, I will keep the war going on a little bit longer until we've got a bit more admin points saved up and then we'll peace out with them at that point. We'll basically wait until maybe uh, the call for peace comes in or, or something like that. Um, we can't vassalize them. Really? They want more fun, huh? It's not in the HRE. We could force them to liberate it. Force them to release it. If I did that, would they love me? Could I uh, peacefully vassalize them? Actually, that's a real possibility. Now, Mofada hated me before. They'd respawn. They would still have their old opinion of me in terms of aggressive expansion. Now I can't afford to um, I can't afford to annex anymore if I want to do the admin thing. Plus, again, there's more aggressive expansion. Oh, well, I'll have to put a cut in here. Let me do that next time. We'll figure out exactly what sort of uh, peace deal we might be interested in. See you then, folks. Bye bye.